Lisa Robertson is an emerging composer from the west coast of Scotland. Much of her music depicts landscapes and environmental issues of the north. As the title suggests, it was inspired by the Mako landscape, um, which is a low-lying pasture land, uh, unique really to the northwest of Scotland and Ireland as well. I find it really interesting because it developed as a kind of combination between human and natural elements. So it's to do with uh, the sand being made up of crumbled shell um, and particular weather conditions, um, but then also on being managed and uh, developed by traditional grazing and cultivation practices. Um, so I found this kind of human nature partnership really interesting. And then also I was just thinking about how as a low lying landscape, it's also gonna be vulnerable to climate change and rising sea levels. Um, I wanted to somehow combine the human and natural sounds to reflect Macher's construction. Um, so I transcribed firstly the calls of seabirds, um, which would be found in the Macher habitat, which includes, I think, the Twite and the Dunlin, Redshank, Oyster Catcher, uh, Lapwing, Sanderling. And then I found a Gaelic song, um, which is called, Oh, Who Will Take This Yearning From Me, um, where the female singer um, says that the people who have wronged her would want to see her taken down the macho, which means to the graveyard. And that the yearning sorrow of it made me think of the, the fear and the anxiety surrounding climate change um, with little, uh, little fragments of this melody then sort of uh, appear throughout the piece. Um, and also uh, the musicians are asked to hum which I, I felt was kind of linking the, the human, the innate human with the natural sounds in another way. And there's also um, a sort of dark and foreboding looming uh, gesture which appears in the cello, um, which is sort of representing the, the danger and threat of climate change.
Thank you. 